Hey guys, welcome back. As always, Burly Gamer here. Last time we left off, we had just been invited to attend the Games 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 Convention, or G3. Um, we are definitely going to want to develop a game to get ready for the uh, Games Games Games, or G3 convention. Um, so let's get started with doing that right away. Um, we unlocked history with our little bit of corporate espionage uh, so let's try out our first history strategy game uh, and we will definitely put this on the PC because strategy strategy games are strong on the PC as we all as I would think most people are well aware um, and we are going to call it Empire of the Ages and hopefully that's a decent title. <laughs> uh, we're going to do 2D Graphics V3. Um, story and quests, uh, I think, are a little bit more important. Engine is more uh, good. We're going to do simple cutscenes, game tutorials, and better experience. Uh, this is going to be an expensive game, but we're going to stack the hell out of it. Hopefully it's not a failure. Hopefully it's not a terrible review. Because uh, we're going to put a lot of money into this one. So AIs we're going to bring down. Uh, dialogues we're going to bring up a little bit. We're going to add in level editor. No, we're going to keep level editor out for this one. Because it's a strategy game. No, no, actually we will. I think that could be kind of neat. Uh, we're going to bring level design up. And something like that, uh, I think, because the level design is important, AI uh, sort of important, but not, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, I'm kind of going on my idea of different strategy games, um, and like, uh, the dialogues are cool, uh, if, if, especially if they're good, um, they add to the story. The AI, you definitely want a decent AI so it's not too easy for a strategy game. And then the level design, it, it's important to have a, a, a nice looking level. Um, so hopefully, I'm, I'm, and again, I'm, I'm always drawing from real life experience of being a gamer for the last, I don't know, like 20 years <laughs> um, in my own life. So uh, we're... We're trying to do what makes sense. We're going to bring world design up. Uh, graphics is not quite as important. We're going to bring sound a little bit more, like something like that. Uh, we added in mono sounds. It makes it a little bit more expensive. Um, open world. I think that makes sense for a strategy game. That could be... Um, well, no, I guess, I mean, if it is, if you're, like, a generating a world, technically you would want it to be open world if it's, like, a preset map that wouldn't qualify as open world, so we'll leave open world in. It does make it a more expensive game, but hopefully that means it'll be a better game because of it, but who knows, it could be a worse game because of it. I don't know. We're kind of going on guess and check, as, as is the kind of theme of our series so we're getting a couple extra bugs toward the end here and we definitely don't want to risk accidentally having one I'm gonna give it a second make sure there's no bubbles popping up and we're going to finish it good timing okay so we are going to we're not going to spend the 1.5 for a large booth but we do want to sort of generate a bit of hype um, for our game post-release because we are about to release the game um, if we could have uh, planned it a little bit better we would have um, tried to aim for right after the convention so we could build up hype right before release but we'll try and do better next year around um, because now we will be invited to this convention every year so we're going to spend 500,000 to get a medium-sized booth, 
because that should get us a, a bit of a couple fans, hopefully, um, and it could actually improve our sales because I think it should be three weeks away from uh, the convention actually starting, and so we should see that directly affect our sales post release. Um, so we got a new topic and new combo, not new copic. Uh, and we got records on both, so we're clearly doing better. Um, ha we're getting close to leveling up level design again. Uh, we're apparently putting a lot of effort into level design regardless of the game. Um, the game will start generating a game report. We don't know how well we've done. Um, apparently we spent the exact same amount of money on this game as we did last game even though we had quite a bit more in it I guess because we have a new guy I can't remember if we had the new guy last game we made too um, so our reviews are in let's see how we've done we got a 10 another 10 Another 10? Oh, please. Oh, you fucking bastards. All games, you sons of bitches. We almost had a fucking perfect game. Come on, man. It's not cool. That's not cool. You took it from us. We got a 9.75, you sons of bitches. Oh. <sighs> That's an awesome score, though. We 9.75. We are going to kill it in sales. Rank 1. Week 1. Game report. History strategy. Great combo. Level design seems very important. I think that's what I did. I might have skimmed just a tiny bit, which could be why we got that 9 on the, our last rating. PC strategy, as I thought. Great. And PC mature. I... I pretty sure I already knew that um, also great so great combo in terms of uh, topic and genre then we got a great combo in terms of uh, platform and genre and then we got a great combo in terms of platform and target audience so we did really really well with that game um, we may actually have that be our um, sort of flagship game uh, from now on. Hopefully we can develop some sequels to that later on uh, once we unlock the ability to do sequels and get even better and make a, uh, a medium-sized game. Because this is, keep in mind, these are still small games. These are, are very small development games. They're, they're not like the, the uh, large games or even AAA games which are where most of us are more used to. This is like an indie game right now, and this indie game in week one sold almost 180,000 units, which is awesome. But so we have uh, just been told uh, that Josh, I'm not going to say Joshua, he can get over it. It's Josh. Uh, Josh is uh, our new guy, and just like Joan, it's going to take him a, a little while to get used to it and get better at what he's doing. Uh, and with that, we're going to send him on vacation because his morale or, or tiredness or whatever is down. And like I said, right in the middle of week three is our games convention. And we have uh, Codename Soap and Empire of the Ages on display for people to try out. Um, I don't think I put... I think I put both of these on the PC. Uh, so we had 71,715 uh, people visit our booth. And hopefully we get quite a few fans from it. Um, we are not in the top 100 booths. That won't be for a long while. Because I'm pretty sure you have to have the large booths. And just have... Just... A huge amount of fans even before going to the convention so our Empire of the Ages 
uh, got good reviews and is one of the rare games set new quality standard for future games. So actually this is really good and usually, uh, if I understand correctly, this means that this is going to sell like fire. Uh, just all over the place and right now we are going into week four right after the games convention um, our sales should spike dramatically from week three well I guess we were going into week five see yeah it's still growing okay so that other thing before was the the mock-up of the play system that Vani and uh, Ninvento had um, desired to work together on because Ninvento canceled the project Vani went along with it uh, continued along with it and developed it themselves so we will have the play system uh, being released shortly so we did have a little bit of a spike not a huge one I was thinking it would be better and we were just talking about it what two minutes ago <laughs> we now can research sequels That'll give us the chance to do an Empire of the Ages 2. We definitely don't want to do it back to back. Um, we want to try and do some other things for right now. Uh, allow people to play that for somewhere around I don't know, a year, if not two, uh, to then be able to have a hopefully similar turnaround, if not a better turnaround, um, for our sequel. Uh, we're going to try this one, uh, the characters, character design contract, because I think we are equipped with our new guy helping out our main character get these design bubbles in. Unfortunately, Joan is, is terrible at design. She is much more technology savvy, which is perfectly okay. That's pretty much why we hired her. So we finished that contract. Let's try another one. This one could be tricky. Uh, it is only four weeks. Um, let's try it, just, just for fun. Um, so, okay, Empire of the Ages is off the market. We sold a little more than, uh, 450, 450,000 units and generated a little more than 3.2 million in sales, which is awesome. We are, are we are now sitting at 6.3 million in the bank. So if we fail this contract, it's not a huge deal. It only takes away 22000 I think it was, uh, from our bank account. Um, even though we don't want to try and start hemorrhaging money, it's okay to lose these things because we are working on getting more and more research. So it doesn't hurt quite as much. This should be an easy one. We should be able to finish this in less than the time. Heck, we, might, we should be able to finish it in less than half the time, uh, which we almost got actually um, of the time allotted the gate this should not be a hard one if it is I mean if we fail it it's it's only 11,000 uh, we don't again want to lose money but we shouldn't have a problem yeah we didn't have a problem with that um, let's see our last one was the iffy one let's try it it's only 27,000 um, and we should be able to get a couple bits of research out of it even if we don't succeed in completing it. Um, and... Uh, we're not going to make it. I don't think. Because I think it was only like 54 or something like that. And we hit the halfway mark and only had... Th we have had still 30 left. And he keeps taking sips of his friggin' coffee. Oh, come on. We only had four left. Oh, well. So let us. Were we about to do another? No, we weren't. I don't think we were. Um, we have 80. Let us. We're going to have him research medium games. You will research sequels. You will research marketing. We're throwing away money. <laughs> Not really throwing away it, but we're spending it for good things. Um, I think we just spent somewhere around $100,000 on all these things. Um, we also have unlocked publishing contracts. 
so we can have contracts from publishers to make medium-sized games without having to put the, the same amount of money toward the medium-sized game. And then we, so with that, we don't get 100% of the profits, we only get part of it. But you can still make quite a bit of money from doing that. We will try and see... Uh, I'm going to do movies just to get it out of the way. I don't know if I'll ever do a movies game. I don't know what kind of mo game that would be good with. Um, and it just it would be kind of a waste of money. And we don't want to lose fans over putting out a crappy game. Um, because that would be counterproductive. We want to gain fans as much as we can, not lose them. Although we have lost some fans in the past. Um, okay, so we made three million off of that. Oh, I think we knew that. I don't know. It was just shy of three point three in, in total income, net income, and we profited three million off of that. We, uh, we. I mean, I guess we doubled our uh, our costs with that one. That was not a good one. Dance your pants off. We almost profited two million. Um, we were we must have been just shy, like five thousand shy of two million. Um, uh, we lost money on the missing link. That was a terrible game. But we should finish movies. Let's see what we could even research in topics. Oh, we can't even click into it. I thought we still could. Okay. Um, let's develop a new game. We don't want to do medium yet. We want to do everyone. Um, let's do let's do a hacking game. I don't know what kind of hacking adventure, hacking action, hacking simulation. Um, uh, I think just so we can keep our costs down, we're gonna stick to the PC. We're gonna do the media engine. And uh, we will do Cyber Hacker. Cyber ha I mean, that's kind of uh, self explanatory, redundant. I don't know. I can't think of anything better. <laughs> oh, did I not? Did I? What's going on? Well, I want it. Let me. Okay. Don't know what happened there. So, simulation, story and quest, uh, low, gameplay high, actually we're going to do, we're going to flip flop it, we're going to do gameplay up there, but not quite as high as engine, because simulation we've kind of, important, we're going to get this just enough to get that uh, at 100%, uh, because I think if we do less than 100% it actually get. Uh, gives us a penalty for our um, ratings. So we're going to go with that. We're actually generating some hype uh, since we have developed uh, dedicated fans, Prison Builder. I've created a fan game. Uh, we're going to let them be. Just like the um, illegally downloaded stuff, if you stop them, you'll lose fans. If we let them be, we'll gain fans from it. Um, so dialogue's not important really whatsoever. We're gonna keep it up there a little bit. Uh, AI like that, level design up there. We're gonna do something like that. Finish it, and with that we're going to do, 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 do. we'll do a magazine and demos uh, marketing campaign. Venegear is about to go off the market, uh, so we can try and get some more hype and. You know, everything for it. Graphics up, world design me, something like that. Um, I think that's going to be decent. Uh, uh, I'm not 100% sure. This could be good. Could be really bad too, honestly. Um, and we're going to do a medium booth again. Uh, sure, why not. So our, our fan game is uh, the people who, the person who 
made the fan game is grateful that we didn't uh, sue them or, or whatever or tell them to stop and so we actually gained almost a thousand fans by doing that um, hopefully we'll have a little spike in hype as well we're gonna wait for our bugs to be all fixed uh, get a couple more little bubbles in technology design bug oh so let's see how our interest is for this cyber hacker game I think that we only had 71,000 so we got 10,000 more people to stop uh, definitely not in the top 100 booths I think you have to be in like the hundreds of thousands of people Many gear no longer supported we're going to uh, oops we're gonna send her on vacation and finish it right there new topic new combo we didn't get any uh, new records uh, but before we even get our uh, reviews in we are going to call it there um, we'll find out next time what the reviews are for uh, Cyber Hacker. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, my other videos are on screen. Links for my Facebook and Twitter accounts are in the description below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.